This video is intended to show how to set up the rear screen privacy room on the Micro Light Cargo Light Extreme or the Extreme Stretch. From towing it in just like you see to ready to camp. And it doesn't take much time. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I chose to come out to the Yankee Springs Gun Lake uh, day use area just uh, outside of the campground over here. It's a beautiful area. We've had nothing but rain and humidity for the last, I don't know, too many days. And tonight the rain's finally moved out. It's cool and it's a perfect night to show you guys how the rear screen privacy room works on our Cargo Light Extreme trailer. It's really nice. It's one of my favorite options. Um, when my wife and I use the Extreme, we do the room and the awning and the coffee pot uh, in that order. And man, you're just set up for camp that quick. So I'm going to show you how it works tonight. It's a little hard to get a picture of it when you're just looking at still photos. So here's a video to show you how it's done. Standard door on the extreme is a lift up door providing instant uh, relief from the rain or the sun. The door stays open by itself, but when you hang the extra fabric on here that we're about to do, it's nice to have holes under here to give the door the support it needs for the weight you're about to add to it. These poles are just simple twist locks and that's all you need for a little stability for the door and it gives you this nice corner edge here so when you're attaching the front panel and the side panel you have something to push against to get the velcro to, to seat. The room is made up of four panels, two side ones the long way, and one with a zipper facing uh, straight out the back, and then one small one that covers this flap area down here at the bottom. So we're just going to sort of rough it here because we can adjust this as we go. Get an approximate corner. Got a pretty good wind blowing here tonight. But that's not a problem. There's an extra flap on the inside here. So by the time you have the Velcro on the edge, and you have the Velcro down the inner edge, it really gives that a pretty good seat. Put the other side on next. <clears throat> I always locate the uh, grommets on the bottom. That's how I know what top and bottom is. There's some nice grommets there. If it was really howling out here, you could guy out this area here so that you wouldn't get a belly in the uh, room as it's, as it's just sitting there erected. Okay. Yes, here. here as well. And then we have the back door. And once again we're just going to kind of guess where about the middle is. Yeah. Uh, enthusiastic visitors.
poles come in real handy to push against to get both the Velcros where you want them. I came out pretty close here without any final adjustments. That was lucky. Might have done this once before. There we go, so you've got the basic shape up at this point. And it's getting nice inside. I'm gonna put this bottom flap up. You might be uh, not able to see the whole thing because these will blow shut a little bit, but I'll do the best I can. This is the last piece. And it covers the opening underneath the trailer. There you have it, a room that is really private. I'm going to switch the camera angle now to the inside of the trailer looking back so you can see how the windows and the screens work. All right, no more wind on us in here. This is now total privacy. Oh, I thought I had it perfect. I got it a little tight right there, it was pulling. That's an easy adjustment if needed. But this area here now is completely private. If you had the window covering shades on, uh, you could dress in here, you could shower in here. My wife and I typically have our porta potty in here, maybe some extra tubs and things with gear in them, just to get them out of the cabin. So when our bed is made in here, we've got all the room we need, particularly because we have uh, two little dogs that always go with us. So we need all the room we can get. In order to, uh, open it up in the daytime. Once again, Velcro is the key. These are giant screen windows. I just love them. So you saw the privacy part. Now you're seeing the screen part, the privacy screen room. It literally doesn't take any serious time to set this up and convert it from privacy to screen. It doesn't take very long to attach it or take it down either. I think that's what makes it so nice. It's the simplicity. Just being able to quickly do stuff, change the environment that you're camping in. day to night or warm to cold or whatever the case might be. Oh, my little buckles has disappeared so we're gonna go with just one on this side. It was there a little while ago but I'm sure it's on the ground here somewhere. So there you have the screen part of the privacy screen room. Uh, nice place opens up I don't know almost half again as much room as the whole trailer. I just think it's great for uh, a quick stop somewhere you need a little extra room or if you're gonna spend a week which we often do um, we'll never change this it'll sit just like this the bed will be made and uh, this room stays up unless it gets really cold out where we have to put the door back down and you know seal it for heat but uh, most of the time it stays like this so I'm glad you were uh, able to tune in and check this out I hope it's meaningful to you and helpful to you in making decisions as you consider our products. Thank you. Okay, it's starting to get dusk out now and the camper is all put back away. It didn't take hardly any time. But there's one more thing that I wanted to show you tonight before I take off and head for home 
right back here in the rear storage compartment. I'm really excited about this. I've been thinking about it for a long time. And there it is. Look at that. That is a Battleborn lithium iron phosphate battery. Sorry, it's upside down for the writing. But I have been thinking about the lithium technology, studying it, doing a ton of reading, YouTubing and stuff. And in the few experiments that I've done so far on my little fishing boat, I think this is going to really make a, make a lot of waves in how much time you can spend without being plugged in and not run out of power. We did our research and found that our little converter that is standard equipment in our trailer is a smart converter. So when you are plugged into shore power, this little guy will recognize the profile of a lithium iron phosphate battery and charge it properly. So that's my teaser for tonight. I will uh, do some experiments with that, trying to run more and more things until we find out what it can and can't do. So stay tuned. Once again, thanks for watching.